hello friends welcome to the ops tutorial and in this video lecture we will learn docker secret so what is a secret a secret is a piece of data such as password ssh private key ssl certificate or any other important data that should not be transmitted over the network or cannot be stored in a docker file like such as password of your database or username or any other things so in docker 1.13 or higher we can use a docker secret to manage this data so docker secret is only only available in docker swarm mode like if you are creating uh, any containers and if you want to use this feature so we cannot use it a given secret is only accessible to those services which have been granted explicit to access it so let's understand this point suppose you are creating the two secret the one secret is username and another secret is password and this secrets you are providing for the service for postgres so only the postgres service service will be able to access this uh, secrets no other service will be able to access this secret because we are only providing this access to the postgres service okay so let's understand how docker swarm will manage the secrets so when you are creating the docker secrets the secret will be transferred to the manager using tls connection so tls is a cryptography protocol that is used to communication and providing the security over the network okay so if you have the multiple manager in your swarm cluster so the docker will be use a raft algorithm to transfer the all the secrets to the all the managers and once you are creating the secrets and the secrets you are providing to any service so the default location of the secrets in the container is run secrets and your secrets name and when the uh, service will be uh, stopped or once the service will be killed or removed so the secrets present in the containers also removed so let's go to the terminal and let's understand how secrets will work and so let's go to the terminal and let's understand how secrets will be created and how the secrets will provide to the service okay So guys we are in the terminal now and uh, before starting the docker secret we have to create a docker swarm because the docker secret is working on the swarm mode. So for that one we have the command is docker swarm init and once we execute this command the docker swarm will be initialized. So we can see here the docker swarm is initialized and current node working as a manager. So clear this and execute the command is docker info to check the docker swarm status so we can see here the docker swarm is initialized okay so clear this terminal okay so there are two types of a way we can create a docker secret the first way is using the docker file sorry the first way is using the file and the another way is using the cli command so we will go both way to create a docker secret the first we are going with the file for that one we have to create a folder okay go to that folder okay so here we have to provide a file name so file name is vi pass.txt and in that file we have to provide the password so the password is 12345abc and save this file and if you want to see the content present in that file so we have the command is cat and provide the file name so we can see here the 12345abcd is sorry abc is present in that file okay so let's check the how many commands we have in docker secret so docker secret hyphen hyphen help we can see here there are four types of command is here first is create the docker secret inspect the docker secret ls list of the secrets and remove if you want to remove any secrets okay so let's go one by one let's create a secret using this the file so docker secret create the name of secret is db pass okay and you have to provide the file name so this is my file name so this is a complete command to create a secret using file so once we execute this command a docker secret will be created 
so we can see here the docker secret is created let's execute the docker secret ls command so we can see here the secret id db name and creating the nine second ago okay and if you want to inspect the secret we have the command is docker secret inspect and db name or id so we can see here it will give the docker secret name but it will not give the password so let's clear this now we will learn how to create a secret using cli so we have the command is echo okay and provide the password uh, username here username is abc123 then we have to go create a docker secret create and provide the secret name the secret name is db user okay and hyphen so once we execute this command this will go as a username here okay and it will create a secret so let's execute this so we can see here a secret will be created let's check docker secret ls so there are two secret is there one is password and one is username so uh, our secret is created there are two secret one is for password one is for username so let's use this secret in our service okay so we are creating a service for postgres so to create a service we have the command is docker service hyphen hyphen name sorry service create hyphen hyphen name and we have to provide the service name here the service name is postgres and postgres1 and hyphen hyphen security so sorry hyphen hyphen secret key so we have secret key password again hyphen hyphen secret key we are defining is here user and we have to set the environment for postgres so minus e postgres password file and we know that when the the secret are created inside the containers there is a default location is run secrets okay and your secret name so this is the default location where the secrets are present in the container okay so we have created the uh, secret for the password and let's set up the username so post grace user file and uh, here we have to define the default location for the password so the secret are stored in same location so run secrets and user and last is we have to provide the image name so image name is postgres so once we execute this command a service will be created and the service name is postgres1 so let's execute this command so we can see here our service is created and uh, yeah it's running fine so if you want to check the service is running so docker service ls so we can see here there is a one service is postgres is created and there is a one replica is here so let's check the container for that postgres service so docker ps you can see here there is a container id the container image and there is a command okay so let's go to login into that container and go to this location and check the password is there or not so for that one we have the command is docker exec hyphen e it then image name or container id we can provide here then bash 
so we can see here we are logging into the container and we will go to that the default location of the container so the default location of the container is cd slash run slash secrets okay ls so we can see here that our two different secrets that we have created here are present so if you want to see the secrets value so we can go cat command db password so we can see here the secret values here okay so that's it let's exit from this container okay now if you want to remove any secret so we have the command is docker secret ls so if you want to remove the password so first of all we have to remove the service because this secrets are using by service so for that one we have to stop the service so docker service remove the service name so once we execute this command the service will be removed and whatever the containers are created with, by this service that also removed so docker ps we can see here there is no container is running there is no service is running okay so i want to remove this secret so we have the command is docker secrets rm remove and the secret id or secret name so once we execute this command the secret will be removed so again check the docker sec secret ls so we can see here the db password secret is removed now we are going to remove this one so this is the way we can create the secrets and in next video lecture we will create a secret using stack so thank you guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos thank you